just simply created. Um, it is about five o'clock here in Chicago and yesterday it was like 75 degrees and today it's 47 degrees. It's really cold outside. Very strange because it's been snowing and the sun's out and it's just weird. So it put me in the mood for some soup. This is sopa de salchichon or soup with salchichon meat. Um, it's basically like a sausage, I guess. You can get it spicy or not. Uh, peppers in it, like spicy peppers. So what I did was I took about a quarter of what I had and I diced them into little pieces. I took about a uh, medium potato, diced it as well. It's sitting here in a uh, bowl of water. All right, the reason why I have them sitting in water is because I chopped everything up previously and if you just leave them in a bowl or on the side, um, they will turn black. So they're in a little bit of cold water. Now the sausage that I cut, it does come with a small um, a film on it. So just make sure you peel that off so that your sausage is not chewy when you're um, boiling it in the water for the soup. Then I also have about three cloves of garlic here. We have two packets of sazon. And then here we have one tablespoon of um, chicken bouillon and a half a tablespoon of garlic powder. And then here we have the holy grail of anything you cook Hispanic wise all over the world. It's sofrito and it's just a mixture of onions and garlic and some even have tomatoes in it. Um, then you have cilantro in here or the sister brother of cilantro which is culantro. Um, really, really great base to put in any of your sauces or beans, your yellow rice, and for today, our soup. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my pot here. I have six wa six waters, <laughs> six cups of water in here that I'm gonna go ahead and start on a rolling boil, and then I will show you guys how you start incorporating your ingredients into your soup. All right guys, so I moved my water over, I put my stove on high, and I threw my potatoes in. So it's been on a rolling boil now for about five minutes. The potatoes I cut very small, so they're gonna cook fairly quickly during this process. The rest of this is gonna go super fast, okay? So to the water, we're gonna go ahead and add our garlic. We're gonna go ahead and add our salchichon. And we're gonna go ahead and add one full spoon of your sofrito. Now you can drain out the excess juice that's in here or you can add it to your soup. Completely up to you. We're gonna go ahead and stir that. We're gonna lit it and we're gonna let it boil for an additional five minutes before we add the remaining in ingredients. Okay guys, so it's been about five minutes. We're gonna go ahead and add our packets of sazon. You can add one, which is primarily what you add, but I like two packs. This adds flavor as well. Contains onion and cilantro and the coloring agent that you need for the soup, which makes it a really pretty red. Then we're gonna go ahead and add our garlic powder and our bouillon, our chicken bouillon. Stir that up. And we don't want the graininess of the seasoning, so we're gonna let this continue to boil for an additional five minutes. So we're currently on about 15 minutes right now. And then we'll go ahead and add our noodles. All right, so raging boil, right? So we're gonna go ahead and lower this so about medium, all right? And we're gonna go ahead and take our noodles. The best kind for this type of soup is the fidelini noodles or fideo noodles. And they come in little bunches like this. We're gonna take that and we're gonna crunch them into the soup. Now again, I have about six cups in here. So I'm gonna use maybe four of these bunches here. These noodles are very, very, um, quick to cook because they're thin. So you're gonna continue crunching this three. 
and four. All right. Now, the best way to make sure that you have the uh, equal ratio of water to noodles is to stir it and pick up with your spoon, okay? Now, I'm getting more potato than I am noodles, so I'm gonna go ahead and add an additional little pack here of noodles. That was just like a half, so I'm gonna add another half. There we go. <clears throat> Now the noodles, like I said, they're very quick to cook, so it's gonna take about 10 to 12 minutes, covered on medium, and then that's it guys. It's simple, not even 30 minute cooking, and it is so good and it feels so good in your tummy. Very, very satisfying, extremely flavorful. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the lid on it, wait about 10 to 12 minutes until my noodles are done cooking, and then we're ready to serve.